Is this the this is the lo, uh, uh, lower lower finals, right? Or lower upper? I'm not exactly sure. They'll answer you later. Uh, go ahead and take over for a minute. 23. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stream. We apologize for the delay, but we have to change casters and such and streaming, but we have every skyline. Oh, they're already shooting and scoring. They're in the blue and with wizards in the orange. And this is a little bit of lower major action. Uh, we're confused if this is the lower, lower, or lower, upper uh, bracket, but I'm, I don't know who won earlier today, I believe. Uh, did Silver Sky on play? I'd have to look back. Um, but we'll see what happens here. As we already see a lead coming out from Super Skyline, who is most likely expected to win after Wisp Wizards. They haven't been having the best season. And, oh, <laughs> Aro, uh, Nisoku, I don't know who that is, uh, because the name looks like a change, but. He's gonna score here, and we're gonna have a tie game. And uh, yes, this is the lower lowers uh, confirmed by Zen. I do remember because my own team actually knocked down with Wizards into the lower bracket, and they made a massive run from losing the first series. Um, yeah, I do remember that now. So we'll see what happens because they are making a massive comeback. Super Skyline just recently being knocked down here. And they might get eliminated fast, but we don't want to see that from them. And with Wizards making a comeback. And I'm joined by Dimer here. Yes, sir, as we have... Let's see... My controller is not working. Forgive me for just a moment. Oh, you're good. Let's see here. Still not one. There it goes. All right, Whip Wizards in the orange, Slipper Skyline in the blue. Nishoku for Whip Wizards taking it downfield. Hold on. I'm having all sorts of issues right now. All right, our view is good. Whip Wizards with the shot on net. They for Slipper Skyline is cringed and also with a big clear into the midfield. Met by Nishoku. Zen high in the midfield. Gets one touch over. Gets bumped off though. Frost the first to it. For control touch the wall, met by my side. He's in with a high pop. Frostfire trying to get one in that direction, cannot. Gets a nice touch. Almost a good challenge in the corner. Super sideline trying to take control of it in the corner. Forgive me, 23, go ahead. Very good. Since he can't make it to MC, why, why? I can, I'm can just, I can't speak <laughs> English. Uh, <laughs> Skrilla, Skrilla trying to take this one out, trying to pinch it, but it gets knocked away by Frostfire. Then, trying to put that central for Frostfire, who I, I've played him before. He seems to always be there no matter what series he plays in. As he's there again, but he just barely misses it. And here comes Zen, he's charging and he can't get the Skrilla. He's going to be getting a free clear out here, and it goes right back into Frostfire. And he's going to try to put this one central as MCYY gets faked out, but gets put back into the midfield. Super Skyline setting up a good charge here. Oh, I'm sorry, that was in the direction of their net. They're scrambling to get back as Nishoku hits one that way. Awkward in the Slippery Skyline corner. Cringe is going to be on it, though. Skrill with a good pop. Just above net, looks like. Oh. Nice eye. High, high <laughs> pop off the corner. That was an interesting... Uh, interesting what? That was an interesting uh, Team 50-50. Exactly. As, oh, Cringe is going to put that one in the net. My, my fault for cutting you off. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, Slippery Skyline is going to find a lead once again. As Cringe scores here, I believe, is he a substitute? I feel like he's on a different team I saw. Earlier. I'm not no, sure. I, no, he's he's on this team. 
Oh, he's on this team. My bad. I, I sure just there's, there's some teams I know very well. And there's some teams that I do not. I might know one or two players, but I don't know them as a roster together. As Zen gets clear, or gets a touch around the corner. Oh. <laughs> Frostfire can't quite get it on target. Shofu control touch up the corner. Gets a pop in the midfield over one. Not past Zen though. Skrill is going to be on it. High pass off the back wall. My side's there. He whiffed. Zen gets clear further into the slippery. I'm sorry. I am all confused with these. That last series has me scrambled. I, I'm still excited coming off the team field medics in Pankwell. That was a great series. As Skrilla gets a demo. I'm sorry, my side. Look, Wizards trying to get an offensive high. drive going here. High off the Slippery Skyline corner. A couple whiffs. Should be chipping a high in the direction of Slippery Skyline. Up the sidewall. Is in going to be the first one to it. We're in the last 10 seconds here. Look, Wizards have got to turn around and do something. Still up. It Great. is. I'm gonna make something happen. It's still going with Wizards, and it's gonna get knocked down at the very end. Slippery Skyline's gonna take this one. See, it's a much more controlled paced series. Slippery Skyline seem to have been favored here, then putting a lot of shots on net, opening up things for his teammates, and with Wizards find themselves down in the series. Let's see here. Game two, moving on to Forbidden Temple. All right, now that I'm seeing it up on the scoreboard again, I may possibly get the names right for respective blue and orange teams in this day's game. <laughs> To game two, 23, you still here with me? Oh yeah, I am. Uh, right. I didn't have much to say. Yeah. Starting off game well, two. Here we Slippery... game two. Yep, Slippery Skyline winning game that. one. And it looks like they win that first kickoff. Wizards trying to get a push out of their half. Gets it into the Slippery Skyline corner. Going for a control touch in the mid. Can't quite get back to it though. Grinch has a high pop. Skrilla beats him to it though. Clear out the sidewall. My side can't quite get it past Zen. As Frostfire gets one in the direction. Not a lot of power on it though. Zen's going to get a clear. Or a pass, mind you. Met by Skrilla. Cleared all the way to the Slipper Skyline corner. Frostfire with a pass to Zen. Can't get it around the Shoku though. That 50 doesn't work in the Shoku's favor. Skrilla gets clear out the back wall. Range is there to meet it in midfield. A bit of a double commit there on Slippery Skyline. Doesn't work out for Frostfire as he gets demoed. My side with a pass off the corner. Slippery Skyline is then is there for it off the back wall. As Frostfire miscalculates that jump in the midfield. Range is there for it though. Tries to get a pass over to the side. Doesn't quite get it. And quick to that ball in the midfield. Gets a dunk in the Whip Wizards goal line. Frostfire gets a midfield stop. Zen jumping off the sidewall. Can't quite get it. Maybe it was a fake. Frostfire faking two. Go ahead, 23. Trying to get to this, but takes around. Goes tries to go for the bump. Doesn't find it. Skrilla. Trying to get out, doesn't have any boost to get back to this. Crossfire going for the bump instead, but crossing out to go for boost is Skrilla. I get a little bit of control here, but Cringe is uh, taken away, but it's sent on. That's a little bit awkward and the miss, and 50, but 
Zoku's gonna find this and get to it, but again awkward and overcommitted. Cringe, the pass out to Zen. Zen going up, gets around one, but can't break through yet. Still have a nil-nil game. That's gonna be cleared to the slippery skyline corner. Crossfire is there for it though, goes for the high pop. Went for the flip reset, got it, but he was met by my side. Disrupting his play. My side getting a touch into the slippery skyline half. Cringe gets a touch on it though to disrupt his play. Skrill waiting on the mid boost. Doesn't quite get it. Spawns just after he leaves. Goes to Crossfire. Another high pop to the midfield. Big, big demo by Zan. Almost a goal. Skrill is there for it though. Can't quite get anything productive Cringe out of that. Put that one through. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of a dangerous player, but get away with it. Nisoku, first shot on net, but two defenders up for it. Cleared away by Cringe. And he's trying to get back to it. Zen with the whiff there. Crossfire's gonna try to clear this one out. He does. And their teammates pushed up waiting for it. Cringe over to Zen, but no connection. And we're gonna see a little bit of time given. A little too much and almost dangerous for Whiff Losers, but nothing put on target. Ball gets into the slippery skyline half. Nishoku, bit of a cherry pick. The only one there. Taps it in for the first goal here in game two. For those of you that may just be joining with Slippery Skyline in the blue that took game one. And with Wizards in the orange, first to strike here in game two in this best of seven series. Slippery Skyline wins that kickoff. Crossfire also the first one to it. Cringe almost a shot on that, but Skrilla gets to it first. Good touch to the side wall by Zen and a high pop over Skrilla. Shoku's able to get back to it though. Can Zen get a control touch? He can. Gets a pass. I believe that was Nishoku. And Frostfire. Quick to answer. Let's get another perspective of this goal here. I think if Frostfire didn't cringe, would have. Two Slippery Skyline players up for it. We're tied here, one-one again. Two. The Bruce Skyline getting back into this. Whoever wins this series makes it to the grand finals and has to bracket reset. Uh, broken axles. So the winner of this game has to be Broken Axles twice, correct? Yep. Yeah, and Broken Axles, very strong team, and. He knocked out uh, Ice Titans, my own team, but in a game seven, uh, down to the wire, 10 seconds to go with a goal. He put him up four to three. And then Ice Titans proceeded to lose again against, I believe, a rematch with Wood Wizards. And now we gotta see something happen. Frostfire is gonna put that one through. The first skyline. They find themselves up again, and you don't want to go down two games in the series right off the bat with Wizards. You gotta make something happen because their offensive pressure just isn't showing. Yeah, Slippery Skyline looking to be in good form. Crossfire with some good shots on net, good rotations I've seen from the blue side. What do you think you gotta see from with Wizards to turn this momentum around? With Wizards, they just haven't been able to find the pressure when coming out of their own half, uh, per se. They need to find a way to get transitions down so that they have more speed, but also find some consistency when they do get chances, which have been very rare. They just need to find a way to generate more. Sure. Uh, Slippery Skyline in the blue takes game two. That's 2-0. That's best of seven series. Let's see here. We are going to be moving on to DFH, my favorite stadium. What's your favorite stadium, 23? Uh, I'm I'm a fan of the classic uh, Champions Field. Champions Field. <laughs> it is a good one. I don't know what it is about DFH. It just feels like home for me. Uh, my side has left. Might be a car change. I'm not 
not getting ready up here. Just make sure he has time to get back, and he is. And no timeout was called yet. I don't know if they know they have that. They should. Um, I, we should probably remind them after next game if they do lose again. Or yeah. maybe Even just if they win, I'll I think a, a, good, a quick announcement would be good. Yeah. As we are moving on to game three at DFH Stadium, the supreme superior stadium of Slippery Skyline versus Wolf Wizards. Slippery Skyline of the Blue taking the first two games. Not sure why the tracker at the top of the screen is not accurate. Blue side has two victories. And this is game three. Skrilla gets it. Bit of a miss hit. Grange gonna be the first to it. Gets a pop over Skrilla. Shoku there for it. Almost a shot on target. Crossfire going for the control touch. Gets the under Nishoku. However, uh, Nishoku gets a good back touch to my side. Grange is there to meet it in the goal. Zen going for the 50 in midfield. Can't quite get it. With a high pop, but not the boost to continue though. My side is going to be up for it. Crossfire control touch in the midfield. Doesn't quite get the flick I think he went for. Got a pop over one. Fringe met by Skrilla. Skrilla shot on target, hits the crossbar though, and out. Frost trying to slow down the play a little bit, take a little control, maybe give his, time, his team some time to pick up some boost. Cringe quick to it, gets a pop high in the midfield. Shoku first to it though, Cringe is going to be there for it, gets a pop in the direction of Whip Wizard's corner. Cringe with the back pass to Frostfire, almost an own goal, awkward angle from Skrilla. Pulls it off though. Yeah, I just want to correct myself from earlier, Ice Titans was knocked out by Post Abusers, who then got knocked out by Whip Wizards to be here. Understood. Um, we played so many games, from what I understand, this is so different from last season setup. It is a little difficult to keep up with. Yeah, because the previous season we had half of the teams, <laughs> so, and even shorter rosters, because there weren't four man rosters, we didn't have the people for that. Right, and and just probably, reviewing. Which is why we managed to win the season. <laughs> <laughs> and reviewing game film from last season, I've gone back and looked at it. The YouTubes, as you kids call them, um, everyone has improved exponentially. As that's not the best touch from Wick Wizards just above their goal line, but uh, looked like Nishoku was there for it. My side with clear over two of Slippery Skyline members. He's going to take it all the way. And Whip Wizards first to strike again. They got to keep it up, though, keep up the pressure throughout the game. Because they are down. 2-0 to Slippery Skyline on the blue side. My apologies for the tracker at the top of the screen not being correct, chat. Yeah, Wiff Wizards, they gotta hold on to their lead though, because they've been in this position last game and ended up losing that again with the same scoreline as the previous game, 2-1. They have to learn to keep their leads, you know, find their transitions earn some time, find people to get back and not make themselves awkward in the net, rotate back post. My side with a great pass and to Nishoku off the ceiling. Cringe oh. gets a touch in the corner, he's met though by Whip Wizards. And Zen's going to be the first two up the Slippery Skyline, getting it back into the Whip Wizards half. High in the Whip Wizards corner, in with the ball, Skrill is the first two, it gets a nice high pop in the direction of Slippery Skyline net, and that's... I think the first two two goal lead that Whip Wizards have had showing up a little more dominant here in game three. And it's the first two goal lead I think in the entire series. Game one went from one to one, two to one as well. Um, so we'll see if Slippers got to come back from this. They're going to get an opportunity here. Frostfire going up for the double, but instead clearing it away. And Cringe can't get back to that. My side trying to get it runs in. Can't. Shoku going up for it. 
Whip Wizards corner. Met by Cringe though. It's a high pop in the midfield in favor of Whip Wizards. Uh, not sure what happened with my screen there. A little glitchy for a minute. Shoku gets a touch, almost in the direction of uh, Super Skyline net again. Zen gets a touch in the corner. Crossfire going for control touch, but he's being harassed by my size. Oh. It's right on the goal line. Super Skyline answers one to two. I was afraid Frost was gonna accidentally knock it out of his own net with that squishy, <laughs> right squishy, there. squishy save his own shot. <laughs> yes, that would have been incredible. But uh, he plays for uh, not getting the content, and <laughs> we're gonna have a minute to go. We'll see what they do. That's a great pass, and <laughs> wow, Rift Wizards get three goals, first three goals for any team this series so far, and. Oh, that was a great shot. I forget how to pronounce his name. Uh, I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing it right. I saw. It. I mean that. Yeah, right. That sounds. That sounds about right. It's better than me saying M uh, M C Y Y over and <laughs> over. But. All right. He is now known as M C Hammer. Oh wait, heard Mickey. It here is it Mickey? I'm and Mickey, not sure. Right? MCYY. -Y. I, I always thought Mickey. it was my side. No, because it's not my, it's MC first. I don't know, we gotta figure this out. We gotta ask him after the game, but. Yeah, we'll have to. Crossfire is gonna put that one away, and we have a one goal game. Chris Skylar is scoring once again off of a great pass, and he's not right off the back wall. Yeah. We do have to see if Wizards come back, though, because if we're gonna be speaking with them in a post game interview. They've got to come back from this two, this 0-2, 0, 0-2 0 series so far. Doing a pretty good job here in game three. Have a one goal lead with 19 seconds left on the clock. So he gets a touch. Yeah, but can they hold on? That's going to be tested right here. The Zen gets a little bit of control. Tries to take it across and they leave it so they can get the clear. That was very smart of them. Comes Frostfire. He gets bumped out of the play. Can Cringe make it back to him? Not quite. It's still up though. Zen off of the back wall. Squirrel. Can he read it? Yes, he can. And there are two players pushed up. The area of coverage is low. And Whiff Wizards are going to take their first game of this series. And the scoreline, it, it is 1 to 2. Uh, it just doesn't show that because we had an error. Just to make sure we have that correct in the chat. We're going to be moving on to Utopia Coliseum for this game four. Ping two with Wizards one. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's got the ping issues figured out now. As we see with Wizards with their first victory in this best of seven series, making it 2-1 in favor of Slippery Skyline. Definitely a good change of pace from with Wizards. Sounds like there may have been a little bit of a ping issue. That might we might see a shift if uh, people are getting better connection now. As we're moving into game four here at Utopia Coliseum. Here we go, we'll see if the comeback stays strong for Whiff Wizards. Because they found themselves down 0 2 in the series, but they did come back a little bit. As that goes high, and there's a miss on the play. It's a great pass, and Soku, he's gonna try to find. Something here, but Frostfire is able to clear that one. Let's go up with a shot on that. And still in the corner. My bad. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good, you're good. I'm still, I'm, I'm looking at Mickey now. I know, I've always said my side. I was probably getting the name wrong the whole time. As, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a dead ball here in midfield. Looks like Whiff Wizard's gonna take it over. Strong, strong boom to the back wall of uh, Slippery Skyline. 
And that's just going to be in. I've got to take another look at that one. Skrill with the big boom off the ceiling. Straight into the goal. Sometimes you don't have to be good. Just hit it hard in that direction. It'll find its way home. <laughs> with Wizards are going to take <laughs> the first goal here again in game four. I think in three of the four matches they've been first to strike and maybe all four. I can't quite recall back to game one. Oh. As Frostfire <laughs> puts one on net. <laughs> Slippery Skyline immediately has an answer. Frostfire sees his opportunity. Shoku's awkward and Skrilla just can't quite get there. And for those of you that may just be joining us, tracker at the top of the screen is not correct. We've got Slippery Skyline on the blue side with Wizards on the orange side. It is actually 2-1 in favor of Slippery Skyline. As Mickey gets a controlled touch, trying to set it up for Nishoku, but Zen's first to it. Skrilla, high off the corner, gets a clear out. Fringe just a bit off the right side of the goal. As Mickey goes for, looks like a pass into his midfield. No one's there for it, though. He's back on it. Shoku's first to it, but Frostfire is quickly there to. And Zen finds the back of the Whip Wizard's net. Let's take another look at that from a different perspective. Now that's going to give us the same one. It's a great placement. And she's going to kick off here, and it's going to go over Sprilla. Dumps it into the corner. Soku can't make much happen with that, but goes to Mickey, who leaves it for Skrilla. Skrilla has to make it back to this. We haven't seen Whiff Wizards really hold on to their elites. Even last game, with the Whiff Wizards win, it was close to being the comeback for the first skyline. But as this has been an interesting series so far. Range missing that wide open net with a demo on the play as well. That you've got to convert that and get the insurance goal, but now there's half the game to go. Let's go get the touch over Zen off the Slippery Skyline back wall. Frostfire is there to clear it away, though, to the side wall. Mickey, the first to it again. I'm sure you're right about that name. It's got to be Mickey. Let's go get the touch into the corner. Can't quite get it set up for anyone on with Wizards, though. Frostfire's up. It's a high pass off the back wall with Wizard Zen going for a shot, but he's met by Skrilla. And Mickey gets it over Cringe. Frostfire last to beat. He's there, though. Gets a save in net for Slippery Skyline. Zen, Bitsy, Zaro, Mishoku wins it in the midfield for Slippery Skyline. As Mickey's going to be the first to it up the wall. In the corner, but I can't quite get to that skill. It puts a central, and that's a little bit dangerous, but Soku can't make anything happen. Range out to scroll up, and Mickey can't make it to that. Zen, everyone got flip reset over the last defender that's there. Has to make it back to get past scroll, but can't. And goes a little awkward here, and Cringe is just gonna get a free touch, but it goes right back into him, reads him like a book, and have a little bit of time here, maybe he can make something happen, he can't dunk it by Mickey, and that gets cleared away just in time. Brand put one in the direction with Wizards, it was just oh. awkward, it looked like maybe a little miscommunication, who was going to get it. Uh, Mickey looks like the first to jump at it, doesn't quite get it, Skrilla's, Skrilla is in an awkward spot, as Cringe has the wide open net. Slippery Skyline taking a 3-1 lead. Looking to answer, they lost that last one with Wizards on the orange side. As we are going into another kickoff. One by Slippery Skyline, but it looks like with Wizards first to it. No, there's a whiff, and Cringe is taking it. Set up for Zen, and he finds the net. Quick kickoff goal. Not a lot of time for with Wizards to set up any defensive rotation. Skrill is almost there for it, can't quite get it. I think even if he did have a touch, he's just blasting it into his own net. We've got Slippery Skyline with a 4 1 lead in game 4. 60 seconds remaining. Let's see if a miracle can happen. 
But they gotta convert absolutely everything from now on with their goods. Off the ceiling and can't really get back to that. It's a little miscommunication as well. Nisoku again in the middle of the play there. And Zen's gonna try to make it to that, but Mickey dunks him and now has to Nisoku and a little bit of an awkward play. Gets around one and Frostfire is able to clear it out for that center. And that's a free shot and awkward on the back wall. Cringe can't get to that. And this game is within two with 30 seconds. Definitely winnable or doable for Whip Wizards to come back here, but it is tough in the final 30 seconds to come back to to put it in overtime. Three if they want to win it. As we're going into the kickoff, looks like one by Whip Wizards and their first two at Nishoku. What did I say? It's definitely doable, but it is tough. Kickoff goes in Whip Wizards' favor. Nishoku is quickly there for it. Gets a shot on net. Cringe cannot get back to it. Tables are turning. It looks like Slippery Skyline is the team not holding on to their lead. 25 seconds. Let's see what Whip Wizards can do. My side. They win the kickoff here. That's almost another goal by Mickey, but not quite. Zen. That's central, but nobody's there. And Squirrel's gonna get a massive free clear. Chris is gonna get a great touch out. And that's a great redirect. Oh my goodness. That's gonna burn all the time on the clock. Let's see if they can put it on the ground though. The ball's still up. We're past regulation here. It gets down. And again. The score line tracker is not correct. It is 3-1 in favor of Slippery Skyline as we're moving into game five. Let's see here. Make sure I have the right map. Oasis. I always have a hard time finding this one because Oasis is just in parentheses at the end. I always look over it. Dead Eye Canyon. Alright, we've got Super Skyline with a 3 to 1 lead over Whip Wizards in this best of seven series. Definitely would like to, I always like to see a, a game seven or at least a good game six. Need to see a, a win here from Whip Wizards if they want to stay alive in this series. Yeah. Well, I believe that it is doable for Whiff Wizards, but they gotta find their footing and keep it. And Slippery Skyline seem to have been struggling a little bit in that last game, but still holding on and have great pressure. So, see what can be done. They're on Oasis. And we have Game 3. Or not game three. This scoreboard is wrong. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> That's uh, game five, I believe. Yes, it is game five currently. And I see uh, a CAC attack asking me in the chat for clarification on what is the, uh, the series. The series is currently 3-1 in favor of... It is 3-1 in favor of Slippery Skyline. We got Zen in the midfield trying to get a touch pass. My, er, Mickey, I keep saying my side. <laughs> Shoki turns on and gets a good touch. Cringe is there for it. Skrilla is going to get one in the direction of Slippery Skyline net. Frostfire is quickly there for it. I bet our pronunciations could both be wrong, but I, I took a good guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think Mickey's the best. I, I don't know why I would see my side as uh, Mickey, aka my side, aka a player on Whip Wizards. Can't go wrong there. Is there for that <laughs> save? Frostfire dunks. It looks like Skrilla. Skrilla quickly turns yeah, on a. It was Skrilla. Happens. Frostfire gets. At the 50s and just can't quite get it away. That was an open net, but and there was a delayed follow-up, but it does end up in their favor. 
And we have Slippery Sky with another lead. This is a uh, match point for them. A triple match point for Whip Wizard. Shoku got, gets a dunk. Wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Forgive so me, that was. That was that was Yo, an insane <laughs> dunk. Rossfire looking for the high chip in the direction of Whip Wizards. N Nishoku's there out of nowhere out the sidewall though. Puts it right into the slippery skyline net. We have a tied 1-1 here in game five. Nishoku waiting on the control touch. Can't quite turn out though. Cringe is quickly there to 50 with him. And bump. Mickey gets a save there on net. It's awkward. Zen gets it into the middle of the <laughs> Whip Wizards net. Frostfire quickly there for it. The sender home, giving Slippery Skyline 2-1 lead. Definitely want to see Whip Wizards keep it together here to take us a little further into the series, Game 6 or Game 7 possibly. But they need to win this one to stay alive. Slippery Skyline has 3-1 lead over. Super Skyline winning the kickoff, however, no one gets to it. Goes straight back to Whip Wizards trying to set up an offensive drive. Range off the back wall, can't quite get a touch though. Two up from Whip Wizards works out for him though. The Shoku's there. It's 50 by Zen, it looked like. Crossfire swimming down the play here, gathering the ball, gets a flick over one. The Shoku's there for it, he won't fall for it though. Zen looking for the control touch out the corner, it was awkward, but that 50 works out in his favor. As Zen sends it further in the Whip Wizards direction. Crossfire set up another play here, goes for the flick over one, gets it, but it wasn't the best, couldn't do anything with it, no one else could get to it. Crossfire everywhere. Immediately back on the ball again. Yeah, Crossfire is known for that. I've played him and he is everywhere. I have had him on my team as a substitute once as well. He is an insane player. He really is. Uh, yeah, and, and there again, getting around one doesn't do too much, but he's just he's just everywhere and like more so organized ball chasing it feels like. Well, and the thing is, he's not the fastest player. He is quick. There are, He is one of the quicker players in the league, but he's not the quickest. However, his rotations are just so good. He reads the play. As uh, Socrates might say, he's out here playing chess. He's reading five steps ahead. As he gets a chip around one, the Whip Wizard back wall. Can't quite get back to it, though. Zen's going to send one just off the right side of the net. Trying to get to it. Running away from a demo though. Frostfire first to it. Frostfire again with contest on the sidewall. Trends gets a chip off the back wall. Zen tried to put a shot on net. Shoku's there for it though. Skrilla trying to set up a play. Cringe is there to contest. As we've got Mickey waiting on the slippery skyline corner. Couldn't quite get to him though. Skrilla with a quick shot on net. Caught. Let's see. I believe it was Zen was caught Zen on his heels and a little bit of a backflip as this game is tied up here in game five two two look wizards on the orange side need to win this to stay alive they're down three to one Frostfire almost looked like he was going for a creative psycho <laughs> It would have been interesting to see. I, I do want to see a Psycho, but that's near impossible. And like, oh my goodness. That's a great play by Slippery Skyline. And they have 40 seconds to hold on, and they are going to take the series if they do. It's a great pass in play. That's just going to go all the way around. <laughs> looks uh, like we've Zen's got a vote for... MVP in chat for yeah, Frostfire. Yeah, looks like we've got a vote for Frostfire MVP already. Absolutely. Yeah, but the thing is, can they hold on for another 30 seconds? Skrilla to make something happen. It goes to Mickey. Mickey, good shot for Frostfire. It's there. Demoed out of the play, though. Then, able to get back to this one, but he can't go off the ceiling. And that gets cleared away once again, but it's in the midfield. We'll see what happens. 15 seconds. That's out to cringe. I get the insurance goal, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen quite yet. Five seconds, then can't quite get there, and 
Mickey puts that out middle, and that's a little bit high. Cringe is going to put that in his clear. Skrill is just barely keeping it up. Zen is going for the double tap, and it does hit the ground. A great series, and it is over. Oh, they're leaving early. Wait, 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 guys, don't leave. You got to get the stats. Oh, all right, yeah, just save the replay. They're gone already. Let me do that. Let's see. Skyline. 